Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve a couple of numerical problems on 2 watt meter method for measurement of 3 phase active power. By solving these problems we shall learn how to determine load power factor for a balanced 3 phase system from these 2 watt meter readings. 2 watt meter method is the most popular method of measuring active power of a 3 phase 3 watt system where the load is balanced or unbalanced star or delta connected. If the current coil of watt meter 1 is connected in R phase current flowing through the current coil is IR. If the pressure coil of watt meter 1 is connected across R and B phase, voltage drop across the voltage coil is VRB. Hence, reading of the watt meter 1, P1 equals to VRB into IR cos of angle between VRB and IR. If the current coil of watt meter 2 is connected in Y phase, current flowing through the current coil is IY. If the pressure coil of watt meter 2 is connected across Y and B phase, voltage drop across the voltage coil is VYB. Hence, reading of the watt meter 2, P2 equals to VYB into IY cos of angle between VYB and IY. Let us draw the phasor diagram for 3 phase balanced star connected load. Here line voltage VL leads phase voltage by an angle 30 degree. For lagging power factor load, angle between VRB and IR is 30 degree minus 5. Therefore, P1 equals to VLIL cos of 30 degree minus 5. Angle between VYB and IY is 30 degree plus 5. Therefore, P2 equals to VLIL cos of 30 degree plus 5. By adding these two watt meter readings, we get P1 plus P2 equals to root 3 times VLIL cos 5, where cos 5 is the load power factor. Therefore, Summation of these two watt meter readings gives us total active power P. Difference of watt meter readings PD equals to P1 minus P2 that is equal to VLIL sin phi. This may be written as QL by root 3 where QL is the total reactive power inductive. From above two equations, we get tan phi equals to root 3 times P1 minus P2 divided by P1 plus P2. From this equation, we can determine power factor angle phi. Load power factor cos phi equals to 1 upon root over 1 plus tan square phi. For leading power factor load, angle between VRB and IR is 30 degree plus 5. Therefore, P1 equals to VLIL cos of 30 degree plus 5. Angle between VYB and IY is 30 degree minus 5. Therefore, P2 equals to VLIL cos of 30 degree minus 5. By adding these two watt meter readings, we get P1 plus P2 equals to root 3 times VLIL cos 5. Therefore, summation of these two watt meter readings gives us total active power P. Difference of watt meter readings PD equals to P2 minus P1 that is equal to VLIL sin phi. This may be written as QC divided by root 3 where QC is the total 
reactive power capacity. From above two equations we get tan phi equals to root 3 times P2 minus P1 divided by P2 plus P1. From this equation we can determine power factor angle phi. Load power factor cos phi equals to 1 upon root over 1 plus tan square phi. Therefore, for balanced load from these two watt meter readings, we can not only determine total active power, but also we can compute total reactive power and load power factor. Two watt meters are used to measure power in a three phase balanced load. We have to determine the power factor if two readings are equal and positive, if two readings are equal and opposite, and if one watt meter reads zero. First case when readings of watt meters are equal and positive, that is P1 equals to P2, we know that for inductive load, tan phi equals to root 3 times P1 minus P2 divided by P1 plus P2. Therefore, in this case, tan phi 1 equals to 0. Power factor angle phi 1 equals to tan inverse 0 that is equal to 0 degree. Power factor of the load cos phi 1 equals to cos of 0 degree that is equal to 1. Here we should note that for unity power factor load, watt meter readings are equal and positive. Second case, when readings of watt meters are equal and opposite, let us assume that the voltage coil of second watt meter is reversed. Therefore, P1 equals to minus P2. In this case, tan phi 2 equals to infinity. Power factor angle phi 2 equals to tan inverse infinity that is equal to 90 degree. Power factor of the load cos phi 2 equals to cos of 90 degree that is equal to 0. For purely inductive or purely capacitive load, watt meter readings are equal and opposite. For purely capacitive load, voltage coil of the first watt meter must be reversed. Therefore, P2 equals to minus P1. Third case, when reading of 1 watt meter equals to 0. Let's say P2 equals to 0. Therefore, in this case, tan phi 3 equals to root 3. Power factor angle phi 3 equals to tan inverse root 3 that is equal to 60 degree. Power factor of the load cos phi 3 equals to cos of 60 degree that is equal to 0 0.5 lagging. Here we should note that for 0 0.5 lagging power factor load, reading of watt meter 2 equals to 0. For 0 0.5 leading power factor load, reading of watt meter 1 will be 0. In a balanced three phase circuit, power is measured by 2 watt meters. The ratio of 2 watt meter readings is 2 is to 1. We have to determine the power factor of the system. Let us first write down the given data. Ratio of watt meter readings P1 is to P2 equals to 2 is to 1. Therefore, 2 times P1 equals to P2. Since P1 is greater than P2, load is inductive in nature. We know that for inductive load, tan phi equals to root 3 times P1 minus P2 divided by P1 plus P2 that is equal to root 3 times 
P1 divided by 3 times P1 that is equal to 1 upon root 3. Power factor angle phi equals to tan inverse 1 upon root 3 that is equal to 30 degree. Let us now determine power factor of the system cos phi equals to cos of 30 degree that is equal to 0 0.866 lagging. We should remember that when load power factor is 0 0.866 lagging, the reading of watt meter 1 is twice the reading of watt meter 2. In a balanced three phase system, the power is measured by two watt meter method and the ratio of two watt meter readings is 4 is to 1. The load is inductive we have to determine the load power factor. Let us first write down the given data. Ratio of watt meter readings P1 is to P2 equals to 4 is to 1. Therefore, 4 times P1 equals to P2. For inductive load, tan phi equals to root 3 times P1 minus P2 divided by P1 plus P2 that is equal to root 3 times 3 times P1 divided by 5 times P1 that is equal to 1.03923. Let us now calculate power factor angle phi equals to tan inverse 1.03923. That is equal to 46.1 degree. Power factor of the load cos phi equals to cos of 46.1 degree. That is equal to 0 0.6934 lagging. In the 2 watt meter method of power measurement in a 3 phase system, the readings of watt meters are 1000 watts and 550 watts respectively. We have to calculate the power factor of the load. Let us first write down the given data. Reading of watt meter 1, P1 equals to 1000 watts and reading of watt meter 2, P2 equals to 550 watts. Here we observe that P1 is greater than P2. Therefore, load is inductive in nature. Now we shall calculate total active power. P equals to P1 plus P2. Using halos we get 1000 plus 550 equals to 1550 watts. Difference of watt meter readings. PD equals to P1 minus P2. Using values we get 1000 minus 550 equals to 450 watts. For inductive load, tan phi equals to root 3 times P1 minus P2 divided by P1 plus P2. Using values we get root 3 into 450 divided by 1550. That is equal to 0 0.503. Power factor angle phi equals to tan inverse 0 0.503. That is equal to 26.7 degree. Let us now determine power factor of the load. Cos phi equals to cos of 26.7 degree. That is equal to 0 0.8934 lagging. In the 2 watt meter method of power measurement for a certain load, one of the watt meter reads 20 kilowatts and the other 5 kilowatts after its voltage coil has been reversed. We have to calculate power and power factor of the load. Let us first write down the given data. Reading of watt meter 1, P1 
P1 equals to 20 kilowatts. Since the voltage coil has been reversed, reading of watt meter 2, P2 equals to minus 5 kilowatts. Here we observe that P1 is greater than P2. Therefore, the load is inductive in nature. Let us now calculate total active power. P equals to P1 plus P2. Using values we get 20 minus 5 equals to 15 kilowatts. Difference of watt meter readings. PD equals to P1 minus P2. Using values we get 20 plus 5 equals to 25 kilowatts. For inductive load, tan phi equals to root 3 times P1 minus P2 divided by P1 plus P2. Using values we get root 3 into 25 upon 15 equals to 2.88675. Let us now calculate power factor angle. Phi equals to tan inverse 2.88675 that is equal to 70.8934 degree. Power factor of the load cos phi equals to cos of 70.8934 degree that is equal to 0.3273 lagging. So today we have solved a couple of numerical problems on true wattmeter method for measurement of three phase active power. By solving these problems we have learned how to compute load power factor for a balanced three phase system from these two wattmeter readings. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.